Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for another episode of Brawl News. Hey guys, I'll say it. We've been having an abnormally large amount of Brawl News as of recently as we're slowly approaching this June 25th date, the supposed date that Brawl Talk is going to come out for this next update. And it's all because of this very intriguing set of Easter eggs that the Brawl Stars dev team is putting out, a continuation of a storyline. Almost every single day, a new photo coming out with this story being told. In it, having these juicy Easter eggs that have something to do with the next update. So of course, if you guys guys have been enjoying or finding these frequent Brawl News episodes useful, be sure to subscribe to the channel. We definitely have more to come, that's for sure. And you all already know I'm always going to do my best to make sure you guys are all caught in the loop about what people are talking about in the form of Easter eggs and sneak peeks. So for a super, super fast recap, so we're all on the same page going into these two newest photos, this interesting story began on June 3rd, with this photo being posted to the Brawl Stars Twitter, with this fishing robot as the main subject of this story. Quite a bit later after this post, another photo was posted over here, and that was probably the biggest Easter egg photo that we've had for this next update, and that is, of course, the Stunt Sister's bedroom, and on the TV, we were given the Brawl talk date of June 25th, 2022, but we have the fishing robot once again getting a continuation. This time, instead of fishing, there's this huge spurt of water coming up from the ground. It then continues two days later with the release of Bonnie's second gadget. We have the scene in the background once again, but this time, the fishing robot nowhere to be seen. We have the marine life on the ground, the jellyfish that spewed out of that hole in the last photo, and a newcomer to the story story, and that is this construction robot putting down some cones to kind of ward off the scene, right? Something happened here. But that is where we left off in the most recent episode. Since then, two new photos. Yesterday, Bonnie's second star power was released with another photo, and we have once again this construction robot in the background, this time in the hole, with the hole warded off completely with this tape around it and the cones. But then we move to a post that came out today. Day, advertising the thrower challenge that is out currently in game. It says the thrower challenge is on. Beat it to get two free pins. You don't need to use throwers in this challenge, but worth considering just be aware of the mortises. But in this photo, we have a huge advancement in this story with the fishing robots, where the last two photos were more so just like this construction robot grazing around. We have a full fledged scene happening here in the background. The construction robot comes out of the hole, but with him is this huge tentacle. Dude, I need to see what happens next now because my goodness, this construction robot looks to be in danger, man. <laughs> and what happened to the fishing robot? Is he gone too? Now, this is where things start to get a little bit hazy and a little bit more confusing when it comes to the predictions that we've had about this next update because this tentacle should seem really familiar to people who've been playing Brawl Stars for quite some time. These tentacles first First appeared in the Brawl Stars universe during the pirate theme, which was a very, very long time ago. So it's raising some red flags and getting people talking. It's just starting to get so dang wild where at this point, it almost feels like we need more context now. Why are we seeing a tentacle from the pirate theme update way back in the day? So even though this photo raises a lot more questions than it does answers with this story, I think it presents some really interesting possibilities here. If you guys didn't know, this tentacle or these tentacles have appeared on multiple different occasions. Not only was it in the pirate theme, but also appeared in a lot of different Star Park type things, such as the 8-bit minigame. And it was also in the Invest in Your Future videos, so it's truly not bound to just the pirate theme, in my opinion. So I'm not opposed of the idea of pirate stuff coming back to this update, but I think it's just a little bit bigger than that. Some things that really make it relate to this like Star Park or Brawl Stars theme being like an amusement park is the fact that it's not like a living 
tentacle, right? It's like an animatronic, it's mechanical. We see the two different mechanical separations on the tentacle, which tentacles don't have those. <laughs> and it's consistent with these tentacles from the pirate theme as well. It's like machinery, right? An animatronic. So the fact that it is an animatronic really fits into that whole theme park vibe, which most things in the Brawl Stars universe ends up doing so at the end of the day. But the fact that this thing is popping up after such a long break is just really, really strange. Another thing that I do want to point out about this photo is it appears the water is like a purplish water or a pinkish water. So maybe there was like a chemical reaction in the water that caused this thing to kind of go rogue. I'm not quite sure. Take on a mind of its own, not necessarily a ride or something like that. Be sure to let me know what you guys are thinking about this photo. I'm still going to be sticking with my guns that the update's going to be, I think, something like an underwater aquatic type of update, but we'll just have to wait and see. But the continuation of this storyline is not the only thing that got some people talking about this photo here in the Brawl Stars community. There was another thing in particular that might be related to Brawl Stars Easter eggs or sneak peeks, and that is this word down here. So we have this other word here on the far left of this little bunker that these throwers are hiding behind with the font that's being used in the less legible word that I think means something for this next update. Update, but of course this means play, but it gives us a good example or a thing to go off of with that other word. I feel like this is just typical on the Brawl Stars dev team side of things. Make one super easy and of course the one that means something, which I think it does, they make it very hard to decrypt or see what it means, right? But if it is what a lot of people think it is, it could be related to this next update. So hopping on over here once again to our handy dandy Photoshop, which we've been utilizing quite regularly in these episodes of Brawl news to get a closer look at this by messing around with the coloring. Okay, you guys, so what I ended up doing to the photo is this, making it way, way easier to see what that writing is down there. So I believe, and others also believing, that this writes out shark, S-H-A-R. Okay, so if this update is what we all kind of collectively believe it to be, an underwater vibe, a aquarium theme, some sort of marine life, it would make a ton of sense for maybe a potential new brawler to come out being a shark. We're definitely not limited to like strange characters in Brawl Stars, that's for dang sure. I mean, my goodness, one of the newest brawlers in this game was a cash register disguised as a human, I believe, but we have a talking plant and stuff like that. A shark would kind of just fit right into the Brawl Stars universe. And I think it would also make sense to be a part of the Buzz family still. I don't know what other family it would fit in. But yeah, everyone, whenever it comes to stuff like this, I always get worried that it's related to something that I'm just not making the connection for that's already in the game. But I really don't think it is. And I don't think I've seen anything pop up in the community discussing it having some ties to the current Brawl universe in any degree. So maybe... Maybe. It's interesting, and I'm loving where this is going so far. All the sneak peeks are super, super fun. But yeah, everyone, that's just about all I have for you here in this video today. I've been thoroughly enjoying trying to break down all this crazy Easter egg-related stuff. The way this is kind of progressing, this update is seeming to be kind of a bigger one or a story-driven one, which is something that you always look forward to for, like, a big summer update, right? So really looking forward to it, and I'm hyped. More hyped than I've been for an update in quite some time. I really love dissecting stuff like this. But yeah, everyone, hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to keep up the date with anything else that comes out to give us a better idea of what this update is going to be like before it is released, be sure to stay tuned to the channel. I'll be doing my best to get this info out to you. But yeah, if you enjoyed it, make sure to slap a like on it. Really appreciate that. Have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day. Keep having fun with Brawl Stars, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Adios, and take care.